Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. In this video we'll demonstrate the Android app by the name of SyncThing and how to set up to sync a folder or number of folders between two Android devices. Uh, as one of the device I will use my DeX which is basically a tablet, uh, a Samsung Tab S4 and the Pixel one will be another Android device and I'm using my Note 9 to record this video. So what is SyncThing app? SyncThing app is uh, it's uh, like a, not like a service, but it's, it's it's an app which allows you to select a specific folder on one Android device and then sync that folder content to another Android device, and that can be set up a bit tricky, but it can be set up, and the actual app you can use free of charge. There is an alternative to this kind of service, this kind of solution, but other providers asking you to pay monthly subscription to get this. SyncThing gives you all this powerful feature free of charge. So how to get all this set up? When you will run a SyncThing app for first time, this is basically what I see on a Pixel and this is what's on a DeX. But this is exactly the same app, just obviously please, not, please be aware that on DeX it obviously feels much bigger. So. When you run the first time, you will have two tabs, devices and folders. Folders and device at the moment is currently empty. So we need to make a connection between my Pixel and my DeX and to let both app, apps know that there is a device nearby and I'm about to start setting up the syncing uh, feature. I am doing everything inside the local network. So everything, uh, both devices, my DeX and my Pixel 1 is connected to a local network. I'm not sure if syncing will happen when, for example, the Pixel 1 will be on 4G and my DeX will be at home. I will test this out and will leave a comment below this video sometime in the future after as soon as I test this out. So let's make a connection. So what I need to do, first of all, I need to make, uh, to connect them. So if I click on a devices on a on a pixel and I click on a plus sign, I do have an option to fill in this form. Obviously, you can punch in manual everything, but there is a much quicker way. If I go onto menu, in the hamburger menu, there is an option that says show device ID. If I click on that, it gives me this device ID or a barcode, which is much easier for me to scan. If I tap on a barcode icon on the top right hand corner, the barcode app will open up. By default, this app will not open on your device. You will get the message saying that you need to download the barcode app by clicking OK. You will get you will be taken to Google Play Store page. You can download this app, which is called Barcode Scanner. It's free of charge. There is no viruses, anything inside this app is okay, it's fine to use. So just download this app as soon as that everything is downloaded. Go back to the main menu on syncing, sync thing app on your device. Under devices, press plus and press the barcode. So now I'm just gonna scan the barcode. Barcode scanned. And this automatically fills in all the details and that's all I need to do, just give a name. So I'll give a name, tab S4. And I'll click yes. So right now it's connected. And what's happening, this app, finding this app in my local network and sending a connection request. So at the moment, at the bottom, one of the icons in the middle, this is a same thing, uh, permanent notification, and suddenly the second one popped up. The second one is actually a request from device Pixel XL that this device wants to connect. And I do have two options, accept or ignore. I'll click accept. This opens automatically the same form that I had on my, on my Pixel 1, already with the name and everything selected. And that's all I need to do is I need to click add finish that and right now both apps showing disconnected and then it's going to start communicating between each other and start making a connection so you can leave like this um, we can go straight into sorting the folders to be connected on the left hand side i hope you can see this is a samsung built-in file manager inside the uh, usb not usb inside the internal storage under downloads, I created a folder called Pixel 2 and inside SD card, under main folder, I created Pixel. Please note that this app will not be able to read, to write into a folder that located on SD card. If you want to have both ways synchronization, 
you need to set up the folders on side the local storage if one of the devices folder will be set up on sd card or external storage the sync uh, the write and read function will not work only will work the send function so basically uh it's just way uh, android blocking the read read sender basically a full access on sd card so what we'll do we're going to use internal storage and inside internal storage inside the lows i have a folder called pixel 2 and that's the folder i'm going to use inside the pixel if i go to my files inside the folder downloads i have a folder called tab s4 and that's the folder i will use so what i will show you now how to connect this folder and this folder and everything inside make connection between and on the download on the folder here there is nothing and inside the folder inside the app sync thing on the pixel there is nothing here so on the folders click the plus sign give a folder name i'm going to call it mr p sync there is a special key below that inside the for inside the field directory if i tap on there obviously you can navigate to the folder so i'm going to download tab s4 click select this enters the location and then there is an option there is a tab s4 here if you will make a connection between three devices you will have two options here so you will have device one device two and you need to pick which one of them will have an option will have a connection to this folder so i have only one the device here tab s4 so i'm going to slide that to turn on and below folder type there is an option it says send and receive i'm going to leave as it is but obviously we can change it to send only or receive only i'll leave a send and receive click finish press ok and now let's wait for notification to pop up here telling me that pixel excel sending a request to my dex asking if i want to make a connection between these two folders so after a couple of seconds or so i should receive the notification here meanwhile i can see there is a a comment on the youtube that i will read after recording this video so let's give a second or so so right now nothing's happening the connection is still still going there is a disconnect at the moment they sometimes just randomly connect disconnects it might be my wi-fi is playing up today but let's give a second or so i'm just gonna make sure that i done everything correctly the name the location tab s4 watch watch the uh, changes that's on this means automatically as soon as changes it's going to send straight away pull random ignore pattern etc etc yeah everything is done correctly oh i got a notification and device pixel excel wants to share folder mr p sync and the code that's the code do you want to accept or ignore i'm going to say accept i'm getting the same form that i need to fill in so inside the directories, I click on the directories inside the uh, Galaxy Tab S4, inside downloads, there's a folder pixel 2, and I will select this. I do have option says send and receive. That's because I have selected the internal storage. If I selected the SD card external storage, it's going to be only send. So it means only can files leave the text or leave my tablet and go to another device but not one single file will be available to arrive from another device into this folder it's just android security for you so send receive click ok and click create so right now the connection established so this is the folder that i'm syncing to my pixel one if i go to my files on my pixel one I do have a folder created by the name .st folder. This is basically for sync thing, uh, synchronizing folder. If I click tap there, I'm going to say new folder and I'm going to call it one, two, three, four, five. Click OK. Folders created. So now any second, I should be able to see a folder popping up here. I'm not sure if it's actually going to happen automatically because it needs to, uh, I do not have a refresh button. So let's wait for a second and see what's going to happen. Come on. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. And if I'll create a folder on my DAX and I will call it nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Click create. And now on a pixel one, 
Again, the connection is happening. The connection is between these two devices and checking the changes inside the both folders. And I do have a folder 987654. So if I go to, for example, my download documents, I'll find my wallpaper. I'll say copy. I go to the pixel to folder, pixel to file, sort of folder. Here we go. And I'm going to copy in here. And now this is the files I see. And in a matter of seconds, I should be able to see my wallpaper appearing inside pixel one. And that's uh, my wallpaper arrived. Another nifty feature with this sync thing, if I go to a hamburger menu and I'll click on web GUI, I will get the website version of all the settings. This is very helpful if you're setting this up on a larger monitor, something like a micro, something like a Samsung DeX. So let's go to web GUI. Let's give a second or so to load. And that's what I see. I see all, every, all the information that I need to debug or see what's happening. If I go to this, it gives me all information about the file. If I go to remote devices, I do have all information about remote devices. And that's brilliant. Uh, so I said, this is the setup process. It is, at, at the beginning, you will feel that it is a very hard uh, setup to do, but don't worry, everything is, is, is brilliant. Uh, it took me about 10, 15 minutes to figure out what I was doing wrong uh, and find out that SD card, you cannot sync to SD card to read it on the sorry you can write into sd card or send the file like i said from pixel into sd card you can only send from sd card from your dex into a pixel but one feature that i would like to test obviously you can go and and, and watch other videos if you want and what i'm planning to do i want to set up another folder inside my pixel so if i go to download and i'll create another folder calling uh three terabytes and what I want to do, I do have three terabytes external hard drive connected to my DEX. So if I go to a file manager, I do have USB storage, 2.73 terabytes. I want to sync a folder in here. So pixel, oh, so let's test this out. If it's gonna work SD card, you, it's not allowing you to write. Let's see if it's gonna allow me to write from my pixel via my home network to my DEX, which then is gonna push the file to my external hard drive. So if I go back to a sync thing, press create a new folder, folder name, three terabytes, directory, let's go one step up, select this, select OK, yes, and yes. So now I'm requesting the DEX to accept my connection request for three terabyte syncing folder. So let's wait for notification to pop up. At the moment, I do not have any extra notifications. Uh, somebody commented, great video. I don't know which video is great. I need to find out after I recorded this. But anyway, thank you very much. Actually, what I can do, I can basically... Uh, no, I do not have option heart. Uh, every comment that I read, I always press the heart icon below the comment. That's basically, I'm telling you that I read your comment. Just sometimes I don't want to reply straight away or don't have time to reply straight away. Because majority of your comments actually is questions. So I, I want to get a bit more information about the, your, what you're asking before I can give you a full answer. Right. The notification popped up. But as you can see, I do have a message as well on here because I am in a web GUI interface. So it says Pixel Excel wants to share folder 3 terabytes add. I'm going to say add. Open this and now I need to go and do, 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 do. okay, uh, emulated zero free terabytes. No, that's not good. That is not good. I cannot, no, 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 close. Uh, let's accept via, I need to, right, let's accept via this because I need to enter full path. So let's click directory and let's go to WD Western Digital USB drive. 3 terabytes and let's find the folder pixel phone click select and do I have your Android version only grants sync thing 
random access to the selected folder. So this folder on our external hard drive only al allows to be to send the files out. I cannot send the files back in. So it is a bit of a bummer. Let's say you want to back up all your phone, entire phone folder structure to another device. Only internal storage will be uh, used. And like tab S4 have at the moment 40 gigabytes of empty space. 40 gigabytes can be filled quite quickly unless you're sending a folder with less than 40 gigabytes to the internal storage and then moving where do you want. So yes, the test has been completed and I do not want to uh, persist. So I'm gonna click and the three terabytes, click trash can and say, okay, so I have only one folder at the moment set up, which is gonna send the small files between my DeX and my phone. This is very, very helpful. Why? Let's say you're installing SyncThing software on your Windows machine in your office and you're installing app on your Android device and you're installing app on your DeX or tablet. And you can make all these three devices have the same folder of your documents to be synced across all the three devices. Brilliant, very, very, very useful application. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below or post your question on the subreddit group, Samsung DeX. I will leave a link to the sub I will leave a link to a subreddit group in the description section below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Every subscriber makes basically a dream come true. I can't believe like I, I'm, I'm past 5,000 or so subscribers. I'm still so shocked about it in a good way. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Now let's go and find out which video received this comment. Bye bye.